Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I have for you my March TBR pile. So for March, um, I'm ready to get out of contemporaries and get back into more fantastical books or books with fantastical elements. Towards the end of February, I was working on listening through Aragon and Eldest by Christopher Paolini, books one and two in the Inheritance Cycle. They're the only books I've read in the series and I've had Brisinger on my shelf for probably as long as it since it's been out. Um, and I've never read it and I've never gotten to the last book. So it's a series that I want to complete this year since it is complete. So for March, my plan is to finally read Brisinger by Christopher Paolini. Um, it's a thick book but it's also really big writing um so i'm excited to jump back into this and see where the story ends and it's about dragons and elves and dwarves so i don't know is there anything better for march if I finish Brisinger and have time, I plan to move on to the fourth book, which I don't currently own a copy of. Um, I believe it's called Inheritance is the last book. It's It's got a green dragon on it. That's all I really know. So if I finish Brisinger, I'm going to jump into that. Um, if I don't have the time, then I guess I won't. Another book that I want to read this March is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I can't remember if I bought this series for my birthday or if I bought it for Christmas, but um, I bought all eight books, I think there are, all eight books. Um, I, I've seen this show um, like the DVDs are for sale a lot at my local grocery store and I've always wanted to watch the show but I'm one of those people that has to read uh, the book that it's based on before I either watch the movie or the TV show. Um, I'm really intrigued by this. Normally time travel isn't my favorite thing because it can get so confusing so quickly but it's based in Scotland and um, it's got romance and I'm excited for it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, these books are all extremely big. This copy is 627 pages. Um, the writing's not, I mean, it's not like the writing is super cramped on the page or anything. So hopefully I can get through this in the month of March, but we shall see. Um, right now I'm kind of keeping my TBR pretty small with the two to three books that I want to read. Um, but if I do have extra time, I also want to read Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. I've never read it before. Um, so it's it's a book that is, has been on my TBR shelf for a really long time and it's a book that I just want to get to and it's only like 206 pages for this edition and the writing is really big so it shouldn't be too tricky to get through. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do a readathon in March um, and if I am I don't know yet which readathon I plan to do. So I will update you with that a little later once it gets closer and once I figure plans out. Maybe this will just be my, my month to read big books on my TBR shelf. That's all I have for now. I'm curious to know what you plan to read in the month of March. So if you feel so inclined, please leave that down in the comments and I will chat with you there until my next video.